So the, the next one is a duplicate rules. Duplicate rules, as the word it says, that the duplicate rules, which is nothing but do not allow the duplicate records inside the system. Do not allow the duplicate records inside the system. Now, if I do not want to allow the duplicate rules inside duplicate records inside the system, one of the way is using the configuration, which we can do it by implementing the duplicate rules in the system. Now, in order to implement a duplicate rule, we need to create a matching rule. There is a matching rule is available. So matching rule is what are the, like a in single object, you have a so many fields are there. Out of those fields, out of 100 fields, maximum you will check four mapping fields. First name, last name, email. If this matches, then it is a duplicate report. Email or an email phone number. If email phone number matches, then that is a duplicate number. So that matching criteria, you need to specify in the matching rule. Then activate the matching rule. Then once you activate the matching rule, create a duplicate rules. And once you create a duplicate rule, you need to activate the duplicate rule. Then only it will start working on it. Now like this, if you keep on creating the duplicate rules or matching rules, how many maximum we can create it per object? The maximum we can create it per object is five active duplicate rules. Five active duplicate rules. We can maximum we can create a five active duplicate rules per object. This is per object. Now let's go ahead and see this. Now in order to check this, now go to the setup. In the setup, Search here, find matching rule. So this is available. So we have a Salesforce is also provided certain matching rules which are available, right? Now let's say I'm going to create a new matching rule, click on a new rule. So when we click on a new rule, maximum we can create it on the, on the standard object, we can create account, contact and lead. We will not be able to create a matching rule on the opportunity product or a price book. We will not be able to create it. Matching rules can be created only on the standard object, which is called account contact and lead. Whereas custom objects are you all the custom objects you can create it. All the custom objects and standard objects are account contact lead and individuals. So these are the one standard. Apart from this, we cannot create on any other standard object. If you want to implement on the opportunity, how can we do it? So you have to go with the customization. That means implementing the some logic in the flows or in Apex, you need to implement the code. But configuration part is only available on this. Let's say lead, click on the next. Now this is custom lead matching rule. Now here we are going to select like a lead email. If the email is exact match and let's say lead mobile number exact match. If these two are exactly match, then I wanted to say that this is a duplicate rule. So first step is created the matching rule and let's activate it. And I have activated the matching rule. So once so once we activate the matching rule, it will send the information to the whoever is the person, the org information, the email ID, the common email ID is there, will be sent to the that person. And once the matching rule is created, then go to the duplicate rule. Go to the duplicate rules. Click on these duplicate rules. And then click on the new button. New rule. We are going to create a new rule on the lead object. Now let's say this is custom duplicate rule. While creating the duplicate rule, you can specify that do you want to 
share the enforcer sharing rules. So there is a, some sharing rules are applicable for the, the record level. So that sharing will we will see later. For now, whatever the sharing rules are there. So sharing rules are also can be applied for the each record. So this record, like a, for example, I have a 10 records in the lead object. If I have a 10 records in the lead object, out of these 10 records, who all can see what record we can restrict it. So based on the record level security, if you want enforce, that means if you want to apply the sharing rule, you can select it here. Or if you want to bypass, that means skip the sharing rule, you can skip the sharing rule. So for now, I'm going to skip the sharing rule and not apply anything. And actions allow on create. So do you want to, while creating it, so while creating it, do you want to allow this actions or while editing also, do you want it? If you want alert or a report, if you want to send it, you can send the report or allow. Now here, compare the lead with leads. And matching rule is, I'll go with the custom lead, the one which we have created. want to add in more rules that means more matching rules you can add it here now this condition is when should it fire the duplicate rule so right now what we are implementing it we have a duplicate rule on high level this is a duplicate rule duplicate rule on this duplicate rule within the duplicate rule we are calling the one of the rule called matching rule. We are calling the matching rule. Now this matching rule is custom lead. So what will happen? Now for example, I am creating the lead record on the user interface. When I create a lead record on the user interface, as soon as I click on a save button here, what will happen? First it will go and hit the duplicate rule. First it will hit the duplicate rule. When should the duplicate rule needs to be hit is decided by this condition. Now, do you want every record should be hitting the duplicate rule or only certain conditions? The condition which is true, only those records should be hitting the duplicate rule. So if you say every record should go, to, go through the duplicate rules, then do not specify the condition. These conditions are optional. Now, if you say here only few records should go through the duplicate rules, then in that case, create a condition. If the condition is valid, then only it will go to the duplicate rule. So once it is hit the duplicate rule, from the within the duplicate rule, it will call the matching rule and it will execute the matching rule criteria. Whatever the matching rule criteria is there, this matching rule criteria gets executed within the matching rule. Within the matching rule. Now, let's say here field. Now, I'll say here in case like, for example, lead email. If email is not equal to null, if an email is not equal to null, hit it. So, click on a save. So, this is the duplicate rule. Now, activate the duplicate rule. Once we activate the duplicate rule, let's go to the, let's go to the lead object. Click on here. Lead, lead object. So you click on this leads. So when, when I click on this leads object, when I click on this leads object, now here we have a multiple open leads are there. Multiple open leads are there. Let's refresh one more time. <laughs> so click on this all open leads. If I click on this all open leads and we have a, some records are available here. Let's say, for example, I'm going to take this lead. And if I click on this lead, if I click on this lead, 
Now I'm going to create a same date here. Click on no. Now let's say here the criteria which we are checking is email and phone number, mobile number. Right. So first let me enter the mobile number here. Click on this mobile number. I'm going to enter the same mobile number. Click on save. This is for the existing name. Now I'm going to create a exactly same deed. I'm going to update this first name and last name. Now, if I click on your save, and what will happen? It says that let's create one more time. Click on the clone button. Now, click on a save. So when we click on a save, it is going to say that it is a duplicate records. It is a duplicate record. If you have the duplicate records, now you have a already two records which we have David Manico and David 45. Now in the duplicate rules, there are multiple duplicate rules are there. Now let me deactivate the standard one. So this is a standard duplicate rule. So let's deactivate this standard duplicate rule. And right now we have only the one active is, which is the one which we have created. So now click on the save button. It does not give the information. Go to the custom. The lead email is not equal to null and the matching criteria is email exact match and the lead mobile number is also exact match. Now let's go to the matching rule. In the matching rule, I'll say here, uh, let's deactivate the standard one. I cannot deactivate the standard one. Now let's go to this custom lead. In the custom lead, click on the deactivate. I cannot deactivate the matching rule. So go to the new rule and create a new one. Create a lead and click on the next button. Let's say here I'm going to create the first name exact match and last name also exact match. Email ID match it. Now, if you want to change the and conditions to or condition, you can specify the or conditions also. One or two. Two or three. Two or three. So, any one of them is matches. Let's say here, this is a duplicate. So, custom lead. Now, custom lead is already there. Custom lead one. Now click on save. The duplicate rule. No, I need to activate it. Activate the custom lead one. Now go to the lead. Now here, deactivate it and edit. I'm going to add another rule here. Click on the add rule. So the first one is a custom lead. And this is also on the lead level. We are going to select the second one, which is called as a lead one. Now click on save. Let's say by default, we are going to hit the duplicate rule. Instead of a condition, let's hit the by default. Let's select here custom lead one. And on what scenarios you would add a condition? Sorry? Uh, on what on which scenarios you may add a condition? Condition, like a for example, 
if you do not want to hit the record every time. Whenever the okay. record is created, every time I do not want to hit the duplicate rules. Now let's say only hit it whenever the status is equal to one. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Now let's create it. Let's refresh. Let's do one more time. Refresh. Why do you click on inspect? Inspect is just for a refresh. So sometimes it will take some time to refresh the whatever the changes we have created. We have done it. So in order to reflect that, it might take some time. So in that case, you need to do the hard refresh. Let's click on the clone button. I click on your save. It's creating a clear teaching rule. I have not activated it. Click on activate. Fine. So just refresh. Click on this refresh button. Mm. Now, once we are done with the refresh, now let's go ahead and create it one more time. Clone it. When you save, now it is going to show me the error. So there are Looks like the records are existing the existing in the system. So these are the duplicate rules. We can create it only on the custom object. And standard objects are account contact and lead. So that's about the duplicate rule. Now implement a duplicate rule on the contact object, matching criteria, contact first name, last name, and department, and the email. And the duplicate rule is created only, like a, it should be firing the duplicate rule, only the lead source is web. If the lead source is web, then it should fire it. These are the trial headings and referral link for more details.